Hello, 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 I'm here. Ah. <laughs> Who wants to really see me or not tonight? <laughs> I'm here, I promise, I'm here. <sighs> we'll leave that. Hi! <laughs> oh, Deborah's here on time. You guys, good evening. <laughs> what day do you have? <laughs> oh, what a day I've had. Does anybody just, like, want to go, is she done yet? Is she legit going to fall over? Ah. You have to couple that with a lovely day from work. <laughs> Hi, everybody. If you don't mind, I just remembered and got reminded that I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. So I'm going to put my hair up and I'm going to... Relax with you guys. It is Wednesday night. Hello again. I'd like to formally apologize if legit this is the third time you've seen me live today. <laughs> okay, I can. All right, let's just make sure this doesn't. All right. <sighs> Hi. Oh, Mary Elizabeth, I've been watching your free YouTubes. Hello in New Jersey. Hi, I'm here. You can start now. Oh, Joyce is here. So um, if you don't know Bow Q Creations, um, they are a wonderful store. I was, I was on another store's page today this afternoon. And if you guys are participating, oh, I got to swipe left, swipe left. Okay. Um, no apology. You guys, are you sure? I literally want to say, um, you know, hi, uh, Cecilia. Oh, wait a minute. Who just said I loved This Is Us? Me too. The dad part got me. So you know how I started my day. Um, I'm going to share. Uh, when am I coming back? Joyce, give me a date. Let's talk dates. I'm glad you're happy. I did another, um, I, I'm going to show a craft fail today, but uh, yes, I've had a long day. <laughs> Denise, congratulations. Wow. Oh, gal. You, um, I'm surprised somebody says they want me to come back. Hi, Darla. When I've legit been live three times today. So, um, yes, I have had a very long, uh, plus I had a full day at work, but thank you and welcome and join in. This is fantastic. Thank you. Huh, I'll turn this off. Yes, let's talk dates. Joyce, let's keep it rolling. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> My mom will my mom will comment on my English tomorrow morning when she re catches the YouTube uh, in the morning. Loving my hearts from this morning. What pages have you been on? Oh my god. Okay, so let's start. Hi, I'm Tracy Weinzapple. You're in my studio. I'm an artist. I don't. I really can't repeat that. I'm gonna make up stuff as I go along, and I'm gonna change everything I say. Um. So here's the thing. This week I am doing um, the Heart Art Journal Challenge and my heart is full. I woke up this morning, every morning at 8 a.m. It's not too late to join in. You will have to catch the first three days on replay. So let me see if I can get... I, I didn't prepare. Um, I didn't prepare. If you still want to join in, I'll tell you what we've done so far, and then you still can join in. It's not too late, but you'll have to watch the first three three days pre-recorded. The cost is ten dollars, and um, the response was off the charts. I didn't expect it. I woke up every day with just like beaming, so excited and scared out of my mind. So I thank you for all of that because if something is not uh, is uncomfortable, it really challenges me, and I love that. 
Um, so let's do the first page. The, well, we completed this today. So this was lovely. That was completed today. And then we're midway done with tomorrow we're completing this one. Yes, you can still catch up. Yes, you can watch the replays. This is the one we're doing tomorrow. And for those of you who are joining in, I would love your comments um, about how it's going. I've had so many people who said, first time trying this, first time watercolors, first time sharing their art, first times, first times, first times, first times, first times, first times. And what is happening is amazing. I couldn't be more, I feel like I put makeup on, hold on. I feel like some of this, I feel like I put, okay, I put lipstick on, so when I have lipstick on, I feel like. Um, I, I can't even tell you how amazing it has been to start my day every morning with you guys. Normally, I do my morning meditation or my morning drawing on my own. Um, it's very quiet. Um, it's very, but I... I get off the air at 8.45, whatever time that is in the morning with you guys. Somebody's calling me. It's not important. And I feel like I could just master the day. So thank you for your feedback. And thank you for trusting me. And thank you for doing these two pages. Even though, you like I've had a couple people go, you only do two pages. And like there, I put so many techniques and everything behind it and it just means so much I can't I, like all day long I was like look at that page look at that page there was a lady on Monday who said she's going through the worst time in her life even the technology part of it was like giving her angst and she posted and said I cannot believe I just opened my I trusted what you said I opened myself up to it and I'm allowing myself to do it for those of you who don't like hearts that would be me. Um, I'm getting also feedback that because I didn't make this just hearts, like it's, it, yes, it's heart based, but I put other elements in it that there was, they were so happy. It also happens to be, you know, Heart Awareness Month for women. This month is Valentine's Day. I mean, it kind of fit. Um, so it's been great. Um, Hitomi said fully loaded two pages for sure. It's been fun. We wouldn't be doing it. Yeah, it's so great. So I thank you. If um, you still want to join, I hesitate to say this. Um, Cindy said, my first class with you. I'm a total rookie with watercolors. My hearts are done, but I need to do the black. So I'm a little behind, determined to get it done by Friday. I appreciate the clear instruction. Thank you. Um, it's different when you're teaching online and you don't have that, that physical vibration that happens when you're teaching and you can as a teacher um i learned this from my favorite third grade teacher she would say i can pick up when people aren't getting it or when they are stressed or when they're clenching their brushes or their markers and just to repeat those things and have people um it emanate with them even online means a lot to me. Don says, first time using watercolors, loved it. Okay, Pam says, I'm a stroke survivor, so this is very fitting for me. Pam, I have high blood pressure. I take my heart health very seriously. So um, thank you. I'm now a fan of hearts and Valentine's Day because of you. Oh, Lori, don't put that on me. <laughs> Although my daughter came home and she had the cutest gift from a... Um, kindergarten kindergartner that she tutors and it was so sweet so I enjoyed that today um thank you thank you so much so it was worth every penny of the ten dollars and I appreciate that I I'm trying to make things approachable and fun and enjoyable so I appreciate that um I'm just going to take care of a couple of matters of housekeeping. Um, it's 535. You are in my studio. I was then live. Um, I should show you. I was then live on Valley uh, Stamp and Scrap where I used my stamps, which are poppies. And 
we created this um, and that was amazing. You can go visit their website. I appreciated them asking me to participate on their Facebook page. Um, you realize some of these places are giving trust in me that I'm not going to, um, like BoQ Creations, I'm not going to ransack their Facebook page and they're letting me take it over. So I appreciate that trust. Um, if you know of any other local venues that do online things, I'm your girl, but not today. I'm going to go to bed after this. I legit, I'm going to go to the bed. <laughs> so that was really great. Love the hard art challenge. So many firsts. You guys, it's all completely, yes, it is completely achievable. It's all, I'm amazed at the beautiful artwork. Yes. You know, and we have to overcome some technology, you know, like we're, we're doing that, but it's just all, it's amazing. You are the teacher. You, as the teacher, make us feel like we can do it. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, Joyce from BoQ Creation says she trusts me not to post naked photos. <laughs> Joyce, I'm 50. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, Lori said heart challenge has been so therapeutic. You rock my socks. Thank you. That is very nice, Lori. I hope you have cute socks on because I don't want to rock ugly socks. I want to rock cute socks. All right. So um, today, okay, I do have a voicemail and I feel like it could be. Oh, oh, okay. So today somebody called me and I answered my phone and they said, um, oh my God, is this Tracy? And I was like, yeah, this is Tracy. And I was like, okay, nobody gets excited to talk to me unless it's art related. Okay, so today we're going to, um, oh, here we go. Hey, oh, okay. So uh, Anne is sending messages to you guys if, if something hit your spam, okay? Uh, yeah, and we're not sharing naked photos. Look it, this is not happening. Uh, if I lose 20 pounds, fine, maybe. Um, today we're going to do a tie-dye project. Um, I shared this this morning with the Heart Earth Journal Challenge groups. Um, yes, I completely failed at tie-dye. It was the first time I tried it. Uh, Darla Foreman, if you are watching this, please do not comment. <laughs> I went camping this weekend. They passed out tie-dye kits with no instructions. Little did I know you were supposed to mix water with it. Instead, I just poured the tie-dye on it, called it a day, and it actually looks in the middle like I suffered uh, a wound because <laughs> I decided to hit the red right in the middle. So just so you know, um, this was my failed tie-dye attempt. I now thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly believe that this was not for me. So, um, I haven't lost hope though. <laughs> um, <laughs> look at the back of it. <laughs> look at the neck. The neck looks like I popped a pimple and takes <laughs> itself from there. <laughs> it's not funny. It's, it is so funny. It's not funny, but everybody made me put it on. I haven't lost hope. I feel like I could put this in the pool and maybe it will have hope. But um, yes, this was my, um, we're not doing that tonight. I am going to do a demo. I'll get started in five more minutes. I get 15 minutes of yipper yap. And um, so just so you know, and the ironic, here's the irony of this. I Okay, here is the irony of this. We were camping. The kits were bought for, they were meant for kids. So we asked if you could pack them up for the ladies. And so there were about three ladies who said, I'm not painting a shirt with an artist. Like, I am not painting a shirt with Tracy. And I was like, no, no, no. It's just like, I've never done this. And they're like, no, oh, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I do not think this was in a walking advertisement for me. I, and the, I wrought, this is the bad part. They gave us the inks or the dyes. I did it with my girlfriend. And my girlfriend was like, 
they must not have thought about adults. See, we didn't want to do it with the kids because I didn't, with kids, with COVID and all that stuff. We So we did it just at our campsite alone. And I used the blue and the green, the teal and the green. And then I just, all that was left was in the pile was red. And we said, oh, they didn't give us enough ink. And then at the very end, about three hours later, I was thinking, isn't the shirt supposed to be all wet? And isn't the purpose of the paint is to run? So wouldn't water have done the trick? And then we wet it and then we undo the rubber bands and we. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was my. Needless to say, um, we won't be doing tie dye shirts. There were no. <laughs> Karen just said the directions must have been on the back of the box, which, by the way, um, <laughs> it's so funny because one time I opened a thing of paints and I said, it would have been so nice if they would have put a paint chart in this. And everybody said, it's on the back of the box. Joyce, those were the paints you sent me. Okay, so obviously reading directions are, and they didn't have directions with it because they backed it up separately for us adults and we paid for the kits. I'm, I'm, I will wear that shirt left, right, and center. You will see me wearing that shirt. I don't even want to wash it. I'm so excited. And by the way, I'm going to walk around and say to people, this is my tie-dye shirt and have them look at me like, I wonder if she knows that really isn't tie-dye. All right, so that was my fail, and I just thought I would share that from this morning because I started my day by watching This Is Up, Us. I was super emotional, and then somebody goes, where's your shirt? And it just turned the tide. Okay, so the other thing I am going to mention, um, oh, Cindy said the piece I did with Valley Stamp and Scrap was darling. Did you teach that too? Uh, no, I just demoed it today. That's it. Um, you want to see me in this shirt? I'll put it on right now. I'll paint in this shirt all night long. I am proud of this shirt. I don't care what people say. Watch, I'll start a new trend, and you're all going to do tie-dye in a new way. Okay, so getting to the logistics of uh, the big news is this. The doors to your art. Look at this. Yep, except for the middle part where it says Vale Lake, and it looks like I wounded myself. So I will, I'm not too proud. Oh, you don't have to wet the shirt. I know, but don't you wet the inks? I don't understand this. You know what? The reason I don't do tie-dye is because the first thing you do is they hand you gloves, and I don't do artwork with gloves. I want to feel it. I want to experience it. I want to express myself. I don't want to have gloves on. So I'm wearing this shirt. Okay. Um, I need to switch my lighting because I'm noticing I am quite dark. Uh, everything is so dark in here right now. The sun went down. Okay, let's see if that makes a difference. Ah, yes. Okay. One other thing that is going on in my little world, my big world, is your Artful Journey doors open on, I don't know really when. Like, I want to say the email goes out to the waitlisters on Anne, will you correct me, or Donna, if you're there. Um, I think the waitlisters are going to be notified on Wednesday. I just got something in the mail. Hold on. Okay, the first 25 people, look at me wearing this shirt. I literally just walked out and my, my daughter goes, what are you wearing, Mom? Um, so this is packaged up. I've already got them ready, except for I'm waiting for a stencil. <laughs> um... So the first 25 people who sign up for a year are getting a large Hannah Mule zigzag journal. There's other, there's other stuff in here. They're getting a jelly plate, and they're getting a couple of Dynasty brushes, and also getting uh, a stencil, which is on its way. Uh, I had those back ordered. So this nice little kit will get you started. My favorite Dynasty brushes, by the way. I should show those because they're my favorite. They're actually the Water Lily brushes. So, okay, here we go. Hold on. Uh-oh. I don't care. I I'm going to, um, so this, these are the brushes. I love these water lily brushes. So, um, your artful, the artful journey, uh, doors open on, the waitlist email goes out Thursday. And uh, make sure to check your spam. I'm going to put the link here. I don't want to hear because I'm going to be around all weekend. 
Um, uh, Genevieve says, holy cow, we're signing up again. So great. Thank you so much. So if you're a member of your Artful Journey, thank you. And actually, I asked some of your Artful Journey members, I didn't ask them, and did, if they would go online with me and talk about what your Artful Journey has meant to them. So starting Saturday morning, I'm going to be talking to some members. I'm starting to sweat. I can't. I have a sweater on. I'm sorry. I'm so hot. Okay. And thank you. Oh, that's a Hannah Mule journal. It's a zigzag journal. Sorry, I get warm really easy. I'm 50. You know what that means. It rhymes with menopause. Oh, sorry. All right. <sighs> Let's draw. It's 546. People don't want to hear me talk. Oops. Do I have enough light on this subject? Because I want to be fully lit. All right, the question is, does she have it within her to do this again today? The answer is, when you dig and you dive, yes, you do. Um, I got to make sure, auto, oh, let's do that. Okay, that makes a huge difference. Let's do this, let's do that. Okay, thank you so much. I know what I'll be doing tomorrow. Okay, you got it. Okay, everybody, yep, see, technology has to agree. Thank you, Anne, for being so lovely. <laughs> All right, I have a drink, and it may or may not be Sprite. <laughs> it's not Sprite because I don't drink soda. All right, and let's get myself together. I'm going to move this over. So if you want to be on the wait list, that doesn't mean it's a commitment to sign up. It means you're just on the wait list and you'll get the information first. And if you're one of the first 25 to sign up for a year, I can give that information. Uh-oh. Ginger said, I thought I was on the list, but um, Ginger, maybe somebody. Ginger, uh, Ginger Ann is here and she can help you. I am, I am just the person who they say draw. Can someone please tell me what time it is there? Um, it's... Annette, it's, um, what time is it? 547 in California, my dear. Anne is the bomb, Pam. Thank you. Hello, Tracy and friends. Okay, what am I doing? Is anybody, is this your, is anybody here right now, is this their first time tuning in to, um, Tuning in to me, because I don't know that I made any great impressions today. <laughs> oh, look at this. They have, look at this. I love it. Anne's like doing her customer service right there, right in front of us. And we're trying to get an email. Uh, I'm gay. I'm going to send a homing pigeon with a note on it to you. <laughs> I feel like we're. We just want to get everybody where they need to be. <gasps> okay, first time live? Oh my goodness, I should be asking this left, right, and center. You've never seen what I do. Oh, gal, no pressure. Okay, that's not even, I'm not even putting the painter's tape on right. This is definitely making me nervous. Well, I'm an artist. <laughs> first time, welcome. Oh my goodness, that makes, oh. All right, you guys, I gotta get serious. I gotta move my water. All right, so this is a watercolor album. Oh, Kim just says, I get a kick out of you. I'm sorry. So this is my journal. This is my idea book. This is where things happen or they don't happen. I'll tell you when they don't happen. Oh, thank you well, very much for the first timers. That it means a lot to me. No, I don't always do the same size journal. Uh, here's an example. This is 7 by 10. This one is 5 and a half by 8 and a half. No, I change it up all the time. Uh, any, okay. I change it up all the time. Oh, good. We have new people. Thank you. That's great. So this was smaller. And, you know, some of them are done. Some of them are done. Well, welcome, everybody. Nancy from Canada. Oh, my God. I love getting to know people. I love, I mean, I'm not forgetting my, um, my veterans. Don't even think for a second. Uh, so this is my art journal, and we are going to create in this. What did I do last week live? No anxiety allowed, just do you, Pam. Thank you. Yes. Hold on. I'm looking for last Wednesday. 
um, just so you get a hint of, wow, I've been busy since Wednesday. Okay, we need to find an alternate. We need to send a homing pigeon to Gay. All right, so this was last week. So we don't have, I don't practice. I don't know what's going to happen. I can tell you what I'm feeling. I feel good. All right, I'm going to grab some watercolors. And you know what? I'm going to keep it simple. I feel like some people have never seen this, so let's let's not wait. No, let's not make this. Okay, I'm not going to grab the classic set because I think today I've grabbed it 17 times, and even I'm sick of it, okay? I'm going to grab the tropical set. If you're looking for resources, I have a resource page. I can give you that. This is a Jane Davenport set. I need to start listing more sets, but I cannot possibly paint today. I should go list this one today. Um, I cannot possibly, oh, my tribe is here. Yes, who's part of your artful journey? Stand up or raise your hand. Okay, I'm going to do something which I don't normally do. Well, I do it sometimes. I've been doing it this lately. Yes, the replay will be available on my YouTube channel in the next day or so. All right. So this is a watercolor book. You can use mixed media. Uh, I'm just going to pre-wet this. And I'm going to paint like I... I love this. Okay. Oh, my God. I love my... See? My tribe. My peeps. I don't leave home without them. Today at Valley Scrap, I love the lady goes, oh, it seems like you brought a bunch of people with you. I'm like, oh, is I supposed to come along? <laughs> All right. I like to put painter's tape down because it, I love the clean edges and it seems like everybody, I'm going to put a little more water than I normally do. I'm just going to, oh, you guys, I think we need hats or shirts or something or just... So the doors to your artful journey open on Friday officially, and they're only open for a few days, and that's it. Sayonara, we are done. I only open them a couple of times a year so that all I can do is paint and play with you guys. That's the whole purpose of what I do. Sharing creativity. Okay, so these watercolors are going to get some love tonight, and I'm just going to go for it. Oh, my God, you guys. Okay. So it's, I'm going to, I know this is, it's seemingly a little bit wet and I'm okay with that. Um, okay. We're only going to do three of these three. I'm going to make them big. Should I do two? I can't do two. I have to do three. Okay. Well, it's going to be there. Okay. And yes, sometimes this is how we start. This is how we do it. Okay. I'm, I'm not even looking where the colors are. Okay. You guys are the best. All right. Oop. And when I can go travel again, which, by the way, I'm already scheduled to go to. So I'm using just these. These are uh, Jane Davenport watercolors. And I know this seems like I'm just scribbling randomly because legit I'm scribbling randomly, randomly but... I'm not going to um, overthink this design. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do those flowers exist in nature? Yes, they do. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't use this purple very often. So let's see. I love that I looked up in my Facebook page. says, yes, I'm jumping up and down. And it's cracking me up because it looks like it's me saying, I'm jumping up and down. Anne and I are jumping up and down. Okay. You must be wondering what we're doing today. So I don't always use watercolors. I use watercolor acrylics. I use a uh, I use watercolors. I use acrylics. I use um, what else do I use? Oh, markers. You know, but I like to just uh, create from where the space I'm in. This seems to be the space I'm in right now, and that would be relaxed because I've had to be kind of regimented all day. This 
is darker purple than I'm used to working with. I'm scaring myself just a hair, so I really hope that dries a little. Uh, I really want red, but they don't have red in this set. Well, we're going to go teal. <laughs> if in doubt. I use pastels too. Yes, I do. Sorry. I do have, yes, I do. I use, pretty, the only thing I really don't dabble in a lot, and I, tie-dye. <laughs> and there's a reason. <laughs> this weekend at the campsite, they told me not to. Um, no, oils. You're not going to find me probably dabbling in oils. One of the reasons is they're very, I think they're harder to clean. They're messier. They're this, they're that. So they're just not my cup of tea. Um, that doesn't mean I'm saying I wouldn't, um, it's just, or I never will. It's just right now I don't, and I don't claim to, and I don't. Okay, so that's just, that's just me personally. I don't. I'm not going to lie about the space I'm coming from, so. I know I'm really not letting things dry. I get it. I'm making myself nervous. Whew. Yeah, I, I legit uh, I used to work for a paint company, it's acrylic. Deco Art, uh, love their paints. Um, I, I, I switched a couple, not switched, uh, I go back and forth because a couple years ago, um, I kind of, I took a little time off from teaching and life and just to rebuild myself, <laughs> rebuild my life uh, post-divorce. And I'm not too proud to say that too. Uh, talk about laundry, let's air it. Um, so, the one thing that I did was I wanted to go portability. I wanted to be able to travel around with my stuff. So I just started getting like portable watercolors and things like that. And that's what I've done. So that, it, you know, it, life deals you things, uh, you deal with them and then you, you deal accordingly. You rebuild, you reframe, you figure it out uh, or, you know, all right. So. This is looking like somebody threw up a bunch of watercolors. Uh, I need black. Because I just want to... Uh, where's my black? Oops. I lied. I did need that classic set. Oh, that's not the classic set. Oh, I put it over here. I promise not to take it out. But I really enjoy a dabble of black every now and again. Like now. Oops, where are you? So a lot of times you will see, legit, this is how I, the, the crazy creative space that I come in. See all that water is just doing its thing, okay? And at some point you just have to say, you've been busy today. <laughs> Cheryl just got online and went, oh my gosh, she's live again. <laughs> I'm so done with this woman. Um, so I, you know what, I'm kind of liking it. I, I know that is not great which that's fine, I get it. And we need a heat gun. All right. Oh, and look at that. I can throw all that around in there that's ponding up. I've been a little busy today, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm just gonna, this is a heat gun. I'm just drying it quicker. And sometimes I start with a drawing, sometimes I start with uh, a background, sometimes I stamp, sometimes I do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Okay, sorry, that it rolls into, it rolls into a song. This looks like an eye. Oh, Lisa said she likes the colors. You guys, I, I'll be hibernating in the next few weeks, so if you need me, I'll be working all weekend, and it's Valentine's weekend. Sometimes just creating from this space is okay. Like, not knowing what you're doing 
<laughs> get down tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Anne, for reading my mind. It's handy now that you can read that small book. <laughs> I stay pretty busy. I know this doesn't look like something is going to happen. Right now we just do some prayers. We hope it's going to happen. Tonight I need to like, I think go to bed and not draw. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to get in bed and, and uh, watch. Uh, oh, who just said single awareness weekend for me? Cindy, I'll, I'll celebrate that with you. Do these look like pansies? Really? Okay. Single aware. That is so ironic that you say that. I I just got. I get. I did get flowers. <laughs> Maybe this is my tie dye look. <laughs> All right. Hold on. I'm just. This is how I know it's dry. Oh god, it's still not dry. I'm like putting my fingers all through it. I know. I'm gonna draw on this now. I I actually, I'm not having a greyhound. <laughs> but I am having something. I'm okay. Hey, single girls. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Oh, sorry. I put your hands up. Okay. <laughs> this is why I wonder when people ever teach me to teach in their venue. Are they afraid what's going to happen? All right, what do we see, you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you what I see. Um, hold on. Sometimes the pinks tell me stuff. Cindy just said I send my flowers and myself flowers every month, and they're delivered yesterday. But, yeah, you can join. Oh, my gal. No, you don't have to be single. All right. I'm debating with, okay, I, I can see it. I have to stop and be present. See, this is the thing about drawing. If you're not present, your painting will know it because it will defy you. It will say. Mm -hmm. Now I got the stinking single lady song in my head. Darn it. <laughs> and I can sing it word for word. It's just a gift or a curse. So does anybody see any amazing, just, sometimes the paint tells you what to do. Mostly I think it's God. You gotta stop and be present and listen, not shut everything out or shut everything out. Sometimes shutting everything out is the best way to deal. All right. I have this every Wednesday. I do use Posca pens. Um, not very often. I like the flexibility of Sharpies because they're cheap and easy. <laughs> not like me. And I apologize to everyone if you've never seen me before. It's just, this is who I am. And um, what I like to teach when I teach, which is my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world, as you can all tell this week, I am filled with the teaching vibes. I like you to all create from your heart. Yes, you can draw designs all day long. But sometimes if you just let the paints do that thing, you surprise yourself, okay? I know everybody, I, I know a lot of people are surprising themselves in the Heart Art Journal Challenge, and they're giving themselves a chance. Um, <laughs> okay, so this guy... This one, it's like, I just want to. I mean, 
this, this flower doesn't know exactly where it's going, right? But it, it knows it has a life. It does, this looks like an iris, you're right. It does look like an iris. Uh-oh, what did Danielle say? We love you. <laughs> we love you just the way you are. Do, 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 do. I don't know how. Wait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love you just the way you are. What is that song? Come on. Somebody give me an artist. <laughs> well, good because it's a it's a hair late from Oh, Billy Joel. Thank you. Don't know. Wait, na 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 na, to try to please me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that was so out of tune and so low. Thank you. Thank you. That was going to be a massive. Don't go trying. That is one thing this girl will never probably do. To try to please me. Thank you. Billy Joel is, oops, my tape is stuck to the table. And hence, we're probably going to have a... <laughs> I, I was just about to yell and hate Billy Joel. I, I was going to say, Alexa, put on Billy Joel. Um, that's a really good idea for tomorrow. Um, but then I thought all of your Alexas will start and I don't want to like cause all these Alexas to go off. So I won't do it. Sharon says, I'm late to the party. I'm not sure what's going on with this page. The good news is Sharon, nor do I. So you're just in time to figure out what is going on. Um, and it may not be something you want to partake in. <laughs> But you know what? It feels good. We're just having a, just a plethora of leaves that are bursting out of this bundle. Okay. All right. Now we're going to, I don't know. You know, I mean, do I love them? Oh, my smoke detector's going off. Must be somebody's cooking dinner around here. <laughs> Wait, it's not me. I, I hope my house is not on fire at the moment. Because <laughs> i got to have to leave. My daughter's cooking dinner. All right. <laughs> um, by the way, if I'm evacuated, I will make myself available for the hot EMTs and the firefighters. So... If it, I'll just leave the camera rolling. Oh, crisis averted. Oh, do your kids uh, actually go to college or are they virtual? Well, uh, yes, I have three kids in college. Uh, two are there. One is virtual. She is, she goes to UC Santa Barbara and she is virtual. So, no, she is uh, here. Burning down the house. Okay, here's a song. Burning down the house. Okay. Um, uh, my son is at UCSD, and he is there. My other son is he's at school. So they're they're actually in school. I love to I love to set all the Alexas up. So all I'm doing is just taking my my sharpie, and I am just like letting this leaf like just lightly going back and forth and do 
you like how I all volunteered to make myself available for the hot firefighters? I feel like that would be like the thing to do. Like, no, take me. Oh, there we go, Linda. I have a Triton, a Gaucho, and a, oh, I don't know what the other one is. Cal State San Marcos. I need to check that out. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, and I'm a Spartan. And I'm the best one. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to keep scribbling like just a crazy person. And I'm going to try and draw this as quickly as possible because I know we're going to run out of time. Oh, it's 6.11. I'll go to like 6.20, 6.30. That'll be about it. I won't make you stay. So I kind of... Cougars! Do you really know that? I don't think they're a gator. I want to say cougars. I did want to say something with a C. Do you, do you really know this for... Oh, or no. This is your school. Oh, yeah. Now I should be asking people what their school is. Spartan as in Michigan State. Amy, go green. Your response would be, go white. I'm a Michigan State alum. Oh, Seminoles? Okay. Do we have any Michigan people in the house? Not Michigan. Michigan State people. What a great job you've done that you have three kids in college. Well, the verdict is still out on that, but I think so far so good. Um, I am quite proud of how they're doing. And, um, you know, it was not easy during COVID times to get them all to where they needed to be. Uh, and we're still working through that. School of Hard Knocks. That is just, I really, I really know, do you have a picture? Uh, oh, Penn State. Oh, we won't hold that against you. I'm a Go Blue fan. Sorry. Oh, Denise, we're going to have to cut you off from any future viewing. To be honest, I got accepted at Michigan State University and the University of Michigan. And um, University of Michigan, I grew up 20 minutes from there. And my dad goes, oh, great. You can live at home. So um, it was decided quite quickly that I was going to go to Michigan State because I didn't want to live at home. Even though I love my parents and I think they were very good to me, I was done. Sayonara, see you later. I'm out. And the good news is, is I think he said that to me just so I would move out and I wouldn't live at home. So it worked. It worked both ways. Now, I know I'm going fast and this is just a demo. And yes, I'm making it look easy. I just want to encourage you to pull your watercolors out, your markers, your whatever, your acrylic paints, your pull them out and just start randomly drawing loosely. Because what ends up happening when you have like an ultra fine Sharpie, oh shoot, Bobby, we're gonna have to actually disconnect <laughs> uh, because you're a Buckeye fan and that ain't happening. No, Deborah Hankiner is too. Um, Darla, we know you're an OUer. I actually have a little bit of fondness for my OU peeps, so I get it. The Sooners. I won. I got a gift from um, somebody in Oklahoma, and they were really cute OU pajam Sooner pajamas, which are really cute. They're really cute. Uh, I wear them only when Michigan State is not in any type of running situation, like for bowls or games or anything like that. So. I legit will support my friend's teams, but only because the pajamas are super cute and I have matching socks and the shirt. So I draw the line. Um, Karen, kudos to you. Look at Deborah. She woke up. Oh, are they talking about? I am well, I'm from Michigan too, but I live in San Diego now. Why? <laughs> the sun. <laughs> Um, if you have any questions, I will answer them. Huskies. Oh, I love this. 
I'm getting to know. I, I, this is the best part about teaching is the connection. Okay, so let's just get in here and start finding where the center of this bad boy is. What size do you wear? I'll get you a pair of Ohio State pajamas. <laughs> well, if you want to get me a pair of pajamas I'll wear, I am not going to wear that. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, no, I'm going to refrain um, from accepting your generous offer. A, because right now my size exceeds what I'm happy with. <laughs> and B, those colors look horrible on me. <laughs> I actually look good when the green in my eyes, or blue eyes, is pulled out by the green in my shirt. <laughs> oh, I look at this. I'm, I'm finding everybody is from Michigan, and then they leave. <laughs> I'm sorry, I work, uh, I cannot accept your generous gift from Ohio. <laughs> now, if you want to send me a generous gift from Michigan, yeah, we, not Michigan, U of M. <laughs> so all I'm really doing here is just scribbling <laughs> mindlessly. What type of art journal? Um, uh, we'll give you the link to my, um, sorry, uh, we will give you the link to my resources page and it will list all my favorite Grumbacher. This is a Grumbacher watercolor journal. I will throw that up in a minute if Gail or if Ann doesn't do it. Okay. What is my favorite place to eat in Chicago? Every restaurant, anything that has a deep dish something or, um, what's the thing with the hot dog starts with a P. Paranacano something. Um, I Anything from Chicago that is... I love Chicago food. I'm going to also gonna say Pittsburgh has also some of the most amazing food. Okay, so we're just trying to find the center of this, and we're just going to keep... <laughs> Isn't that bad that I... I also think Ann Arbor has the best deli in the whole wide world. So, starts with a Z. I used to go there as a kid all the time. My mom would take me there. Oh, Xander or something. I can't remember. I have a thing about food. I enjoy it. It loves me and it sticks to me. Oh, Portillo's. Thank you. Portillo's hot dogs. Starts with a P. See? One time I was um, at a Geno's, Geno's, the, one of the pizza places, and I did something on Snapchat, and they sent me, um, not Snapchat, Instagram. I don't do Snapchat. And um, they sent me um, frozen, they, they, they sent me a bunch of pizzas. It was the nicest gift ever. <laughs> like, I was so surprised. And I, they flew, they, Zingerman's, thank you. Yeah, that was my story from um, Geno's East, I want to say, if I'm correct. And I put something on Instagram with my parents about eating there. And I got a surprise gift box in the mail that they had sent, all frozen. And I made these pizzas for my kids. And they were like, what? Gino's East, thank you. See, I'm not senile yet. We're getting close. but Okay, so I'm not, I haven't even pulled anything out to shade with, which I will. Um, I feel like this is kind of taking root. Zingerman's, thank you. Zingerman's was one of my, also I used to go to a place, this is so bad, I can't admit this, my mom is going to watch this, but I used to go to a place called the Nectarine Ballroom uh, when I was in high school, but mom, I didn't have a fake ID, that would have been bad, that would have been horrible, that I did in my drafting class, thank you for paying for that drafting class by the way, yeah. Okay, so I don't know what's happening in this little corner of the world. I feel like right here is a lost leaf. There we go. We're just going to find out that it is a lost leaf. And, yep, it's just tucked in there. And so there was another one that was just tucked in over here, and we didn't even know it. And give me a break. It was back in the X number of years. Now I... Really, 
legit, Amy? Did you really know that? Yes, I was. Had all older friends. They were bad influences. Mom, I was a good kid. You were lucky. Oh, Girodanos. Oh, very good. I can think of by the convention center all these places that I've eaten in Chicago. Okay. Now, one thing I really like is when you see if you if you use the thicker pen, it will make things bolder and brighter and they stand out. Okay. Good. What time is it? 6.21. Only go until 6.30. And yes, this is how I create a lot of times when it's just me. I'm going to grab an aqua rollable pencil. And I know I have one sharp because this is just a... We're just going to come in here and further, further down this situation with... It's just like I'm coloring. Uh, yes, there is a Portillo's. I've been there. I've been there by Knott's Berry Farm. I drove all the way up there with my kids for field trips. And every time I, we drove, I drove separately because I, I get sick on buses. I get motion sickness really easy. So when I was chaperoned, I would take my own car and my own kids. And, um, we would go to Portillo's. That was part of the deal. If your mother is going to chaperone, you have to make it worth my while. So let's go to Portello's. I don't know why that's not everywhere. All right. Again, I'm just carrying out. This is. Ooh. And then I was going to do this because I don't want everything to be colored. So we're going to come in. Yep. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do a little border. You guys, I know this was kind of a hot mess express um, evening, but I didn't know what was left in the creative engine. So really for me, whatever was left was a gift and I'm not going to look this gift horse in the mouth. So I'm quite okay with these Dr. Susie looking, um, let it go uh, flowers. I know they're, they're not your conventional, like they look like something, but they don't, I get it. Sometimes you just have to create from that side of you and we're doing it. So, and then on a boo-boo. <laughs> I don't know what this is legit. Like I feel like, I don't know if I want to emphasize what's going on here but I kind of have to. This was an aquarellable. I list those on the page as well. That's an aquarellable, Stabilo aquarellable in black. They make them in several colors. It's activated by water, so be careful. If you were to use water on this page right now, things could go running around with the shading part. I don't mind it. Um, this is a chisel tip Sharpie. I feel like ultimately I might need a border because I feel like some of my tape escaped over here. Oh, whoops, I need a ruler. What was I thinking? I... Okay, sorry, I just started to just randomly go down the edge, which I feel like I'm pretty straight person, but I don't think I would ever I need a new chisel tip. That's This has got to go. I've said this three weeks in a row. This is just a thicker Sharpie. Every one of these things I'm listing is um, on my uh, resource page. I do that for a reason. It just became easier to answer the questions of where did you get that? Because most of the stuff I get, I just order it like you do. I just order it, hope it comes, hope I like it. But I only list things on my research resource page. If I know it, use it, love it. Yes, a lot of companies send me stuff. I work for Jelly Arts, that's listed. I give discount codes. Now you're wondering why is she, okay, this is not gonna fly, I get it. So I have to do the desperate thing and just go this way. 
and then my border will just become thicker if this is not the way I like to do it. I like to do it in one smooth transaction, but that's okay. I have to throw that thing away. Okay, are you ready? Let's take this tape off and let's do this. All right. You know, I think this chisel tip I've had for like a year or something. So the fact that it's now just going bad is okay with me. Like I kind of keep reviving it. So I haven't given up on it yet. It takes a while for me to get rid of my markers. I fall in love with them. All right. Now, I feel like the middle of this bad boy needs some hook dots. So I'm just going to do this. Oh, Kim, yeah, I work for Jelly Arts. We, we do a lot. I do a lot with them. I, I don't know why, but I feel like the middle of this needed more than just a faded center. It needed something a little more like the same thing over here. And then right here, I give discount codes or affiliate like if I work with them because I believe in that. You benefit, I benefit, the company benefits. Why not? Ooh, look at the middle of that flower. What was that? That just that just rocked itself to life right there. That that's what that needed. Okay. Are we ready to take the tape off this son of a gun? Okay. I guess it wasn't an iris after all, but this thing looks like a giant eyeball. Like I can't get over that. Do you see how varying the size of your, um, just the varying the size of your like pen just makes a difference. I, that's something that is kind of key for me. Um, I feel like there's not enough happening here. Okay, I'm done, I promise. Pens down, pens down, 628. That is a Stabilo Aquarella Boat Pencil. Activated by water, can be used on grease or on glass, metal, paper, whatever. I just love it. They sell them in colors, but I don't need them. I, I don't even, I think I've had the white, but I don't, okay. Let's, let's call this one done. What do you think? Should we call this done? Yeah, this eyeball is never going to blink, and it is going to make me really upset. But you know what I could do? Keep shooting it on. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know what I forgot to do today. Um, something. Okay. Done. Thank you. It's like... You know, it's a little off beat, but it's done. Here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to stop coloring this any minute now. Just, I'm finding places to put more black because it's kind of making me happy. All right, done. Tape is coming off. Can you believe this? Legit, if this turns out, even remotely, I, this is all I have left in the creative tank. This would be it. This is it. Please, no water behind this. Oh, booyah. Look at that. Oh, just a little bit. That's okay. I can get that off. I don't know. You guys, do I think it's the best thing of the year? Nah. Do I like, did I enjoy the creative process? Absolutely. Uh, was it what I had left after doing this three times today? 
that was it. Um, so if you're wondering what I'm going to do right now to fix this, I, it's watercolors, so I'm going to run it all over the page, make it look ten times worse. No. Um, usually if it's just watercolors, I can take this, um, this is just a baby wipe, and I can just get as much off as possible, and you won't even know it was there, but if it's there, it's not the end of the world. I just don't want to run and ruin the paper, but I don't care about that. That is actually fine with me. And then if it really bothers me, I take a little bit of white gesso, but you can't even see it anymore. I... <laughs> Oh my god, it's one of your favorites? This must be your first time watching. <laughs> no, you know what? It's it's different. It's, you know, I haven't done anything like this recently, so I'm okay with this. I especially liked where this headed. I liked that the, it is, wow, you guys, I don't know. I don't know. I think you're blowing smoke, but I'm happy about that smoke. Keep blowing. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to come back here. Simbi, look, oh my gosh, she looks so weathered. Um, <laughs> I have a feeling the ones who are saying, it's my favorite, it's the first time you've ever watched. No, I, I do, I like it. I'm, I just want to approve that, um, I just want to say, I know this seemed a little bit intimidating if this was your first time watching. What I want to prove is you don't have to have a plan. You don't have, a, have to have a bunch of crazy supplies. All you have to do is just let go and see what happens. And sometimes you're going to see that the paint will tell you what to do and what to try. And that's okay. That is, um, <laughs> everybody's saying, have a cocktail. Um, thank you for today. Um, for those of you who are in, thank you guys. Uh, I, I can't say that the rest is going to last long, but I will be um, done for the evening. Thank you. Um, if you're looking to join the waitlist of your artful journey, we slow it all back down. It does not stay at this crazy pace. Um, but I do always encourage you to push your limits a bit and see where things take you. And trust yourself. For those uh, who are telling me that they can't draw a stick figure, um, I don't think you've ever seen me draw a stick figure. T um, Um, I don't, sorry, I am getting text messages left, right, and center, like, good job, and I'm like, um, don't draw stick figures, they're not for you, they're not for me, but there are a few people who legit make good money off stick figures, so, um, Karen says, I've been watching your YouTubes and trying to learn from you, thank you, if there's anything that you guys are looking to learn, send me a message and just say you're learning, you're interested, or, um, it is just a piece of paper, thank you, Darlene, I love that I don't even have to say that anymore, it is just a piece of paper, this is my book, this is my creative space, the ideas I like, they go on canvases. I have canvases all over. They go on wine barrels. They go on shoes. Those are shoes. They go on jean jackets. That's a jean jacket. The ones I like. Some pages I just don't like. But you know what? I'm saying I like this page. <laughs> and Donna, I see it now. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> so, you guys. Um, Ruth said um shading is hard for you i know just give it a go and then pull it back like if you feel like you're doing too much pull it back debbie said sun sunsets if you want a month full of sunsets i can tell you that a month full of sunsets starts uh for your artful journey in may um in may may and I'm going to give you one little sneak peek. Um, I have a month of sunsets coming. Here's one. Um, so that is going to be part of your Artful Journey membership. Those are really where I create from my space. And those are pictures that I took while I was camping. And I just want to thank you guys. So just remember, if you're in your Artful Journey... No, it's not May. It's April. Not May. It's April. So... If you do join, you get lessons from starting from day one. But we are going to be doing, I will be doing them with you in April. That is already pre-done, pre-scheduled, pre-in there. 
And we dig deep because those happen to be my favorite. Darla said, Tracy, I'll be thinking of you by the pool when Oklahoma is, <laughs> oh my God, 10 to 15 inches. So, uh, oh, Cindy, okay, here's a good question. And then I'm going to end. Cindy just asked, I heard you said you started with mixed media. Do you still do that? This is mixed media. Okay, um, I'll show you one more. May, mark your calendars. We will be doing a mixed media challenge in May. Um, we'll be doing acrylics and crackles and, oh my God, I have so much stuff for you. My brain comes from mixed media. Also, once a month, starting February 24th, we will be doing, on these Wednesdays, free mixed media, like, demo. I, try, I will try to do them quickly. We need dry time, but I've done it before. I'll do it again. Yes, I will be doing mixed media. Stay tuned for that because um, mixed media is where I come from. Somebody says, what is mixed media? By the way, this is mixed media. This that we did in the Art Journal Challenge is gesso acrylic paint. We used watercolors. So mixed media means mixed mediums. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, you're asking for it. You're going to receive that. Thank you. Um, by the way, your Artful Journey members, they're the ones who direct um, a lot of what I do. They ask me, I've seen this, I've seen that, can you do it? And that's where we dig deep. That is my whole thing. Okay, I love doing mixed media. Okay, yeah, this is that's the space I came from. This is mixed media right there. All of that, like those are paints. I have drawers and drawers. Uh, I used to work for Deco Art, so um, legit, I will. Um, you're asking, I'm listening. Um, I will say this, mixed media was what I was doing. I, it's all up here. Like, I have mixed media pieces everywhere. Oh, here. I said I was done. I know I'm done. This is, oh, I almost fell over my chair. <laughs> See all this? This is mixed media. This was a leather technique I did. I should hold this up. Uh, can you, can you tell? This, okay, this, look at these. These are all interactive. Do not think for a second I am not filled with ideas and mixed media is the direction. I have always hesitated to go back, but I'm happy to go back. So thank you. I love this. I'm straight to day three of the hearts. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, those of you who are doing the Heart Art Journal Challenge, it's not too late to join. Um, I'm just going to keep giving in the direction of what you guys are asking for. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I know we went over. Uh, I had a lot to say. I don't even know how that's possible. Whimsical animals. Oh my goodness. My son asked me to draw lions all the time. Okay. Have a wonderful night. This video will go to my YouTube channel. I am Tracy Weinzapfel. If you have any ideas or you need anything else from me, send me an email. I'll respond as soon as I can. Happy Valentine's Day to those who I will not talk to uh, before then. Otherwise, if you're in the Heart Art Journal Challenge, I'll see you live tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. You know where to find me. I'll set that video up right now. Have a wonderful evening. I appreciate you all.